In this episode of the Holy Kitchens of India, we are at Mahavir Sthanakwasi Jain Sang Upashray in Dombivli. The followers of Jainism from the Shwetambar sect are mainly the devotees here. They follow the preachings of the monks. 51 days prior to Paryushan every year, the devotees observe fast wherein the only food intake is a single meal every day at the Upashray. After listening to the preachings from the monks and chanting of the Bhaktambar Stotra, the lunch begins at 12 noon. The food is served in a humongous volume. The Holy Jain Thali consists of more than 25 dishes. The food cooked here is pure sattvic food without onion, garlic or any other underground vegetables. This practice is followed to prevent injuring small insects and microorganisms and also to prevent the entire plant getting uprooted and killed. Traditionally, Jains have been prohibited from drinking unfiltered water. In the past, when wells or bowlies were used for the water source, the cloth used for filtering used to be reversed and some filtered water was poured over it to return the organisms to the original body of water. This practice was termed as Jivani or Bilchavani. Few devotees also consume tea during the lunch as that is the only hour of food intake in the whole day. Strict Jains avoid cooking or eating after sunset because insects are believed to be more attracted towards lamps and fire at night. Even fermented food is avoided as it possesses higher concentration of microorganisms. Dhokla, which is considered a staple food in Gujaratis and Jains, is also made from freshly made batter over here. And paneer is also prepared in the kitchens with more than 30 liters of milk. The preparations for the lunch begins early morning around 3 am. Wherein the vegetables are washed and chopped, the kitchen is cleaned, the ingredients are refilled and the cooking begins. The thali includes more than 25 dishes ranging from muthia, which is rolled, steamed, cut and then mixed in the tempering. Rotis, bhakris, moong dal khichdi and a lot more. The monks come to the eating hall and serve an appetizer first and only after that the servings begin. The food is prepared for more than 100 devotees every day, which is served without any monetary exchange. The devotees bring their own plates for the lunch and the pangat sits. Even if you are done with your meal, you are not supposed to get up until and unless everyone finishes eating. Once the food is finished, you have to pour water in your plate, mix the remains and drink the same, so that not even a bit of food is wasted. The Jains believe and practice that when you start eating your food, first thank God, then thank the farmer and then thank them who has prepared the food for you, standing in 40 to 45 degrees of temperature. As the day of selfless service comes to an end, the day ends with the same prayer by which millions of Jains have enlivened their faith. Jai Jinendra.